This is Spanish 2, sentences 201 through 204. 201. Ask your friend, did you give the money to him? <clears throat> Le diste tu el dinero a él? Le diste tu el dinero a él? 202. Yes, I gave the money to him. Si, yo le di el dinero a él. Si, yo le di el dinero a él. 203. Ask your friend, did he give the book to you? Te dio el, el libro? Te dio el, el libro? Yes, he gave the book to me. Si, él me dio el libro. Si, él me dio el libro. All right, let's talk about the verb to give. As you noticed, I'm sure, it's in all four of these senses. Now, dar is a very, very irregular verb. In the present tense, the old form is doy. Everybody say doy, doy. Anytime a verb has a Y in the present tense, soy, estoy, doy, voy, it means it's going to be very, very irregular in the past tense as well. All right, so it's an air verb, dar. So you expect to chop off the air and add E, A-S-T-E-O, a-M-O-S-A-R-O-N, and you expect an accent in the yield form and the he form, but the endings in the past tense for dar are D-I, D-I-S-T-E, D-I-O, D-I-M-O-S, D-I-E-R-O-N, and there are no accents. Why there are no accents? Ir, ser, dar, ver, no accents anywhere. You might want to review the clip on dar if you had trouble with that. That's a very irregular verb. Now, notice in English we say, uh, did you give the money to him? All right, but in Spanish you say, to him gave you the money. Now, here's the problem. If you just said, le diste tu el dinero, you could be asking, did you give the money to him, or to her, or to it, to you, sir, to you, ma'am. Because remember, le means five different things. So it's nice at the end to say, a el. Just like if you say, uh, canta, in present tense. Somebody say, canta, canta. It could mean he sings, she sings, it sings. You, sir, sing, you, ma'am, sing. So it's nice to put the el, ella, usted. So when you're dealing with a he form of the verb, it's very important and very helpful to say it twice. So they don't just say, I spoke to him. They say, to him, I spoke to him. They don't just say, I wrote to her. They say, to her, I wrote to her. So if you say, did you give the money to him? Everybody say, to him, to him. Hear the word to, you have to say it two times. So, 202, yes, to him I gave the money to him. See how that works? Anytime you hear the word to, you're going to say it two times, like, I wrote to them. To them, I wrote to them. Now, let's look at 203. Did he give you, did he give the book to you? Now, take can only mean one thing. So there's really no reason to state it again. Le can mean five different things, so it's nice to tell at the end what le referred to. But te only refers to you, friend. So just say, te dio el el libro. Notice, el with an accent means he, el without an accent means the. Hey, what happened to the accent? Well, he took it, and look, he still has it. Now, may can only mean one thing, to me. <laughs> okay, it can't mean to him or to her. So um, you just say, literally, yes, he, to me, he gave the book. Now, if you wanted, you could stick uh, to me again at the end, but since may only means one thing, it's really not necessary. So again, let me restate. When you're using the, the he, she, it form of the verb, past, present, future, it's always nice to say it twice. In the present tense, we don't just say canta, we say ea canta. And in the past tense, you don't just say yo le canté, you say yo le canté a ella, which means literally to her, I sang to her. All right, that's a difficult concept, I know. That is Spanish 2, sentences 201 to 204.